Are you looking to better track and understand the traffic that's coming and converting on your website? UTM codes might be the way to do that, and we can do it right here inside of HubSpot. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So UTM codes, which stands for Urchin Tracking Module, that's a video for a different day, is actually a way for you to attach that string of characters that you might see when you open up a URL and all the scoobly goot comes at the end. That's what marketers can use to actually track and manage the traffic coming to the website. We can track things like source, medium, content, all the way down to the actual keywords that someone had used to reach your website. So I'm gonna take you through the HubSpot interface and show you where to set that up in HubSpot and then kind of how that orients itself in your HubSpot uh, portal and then where you might see that as a source for the contacts that come in. So let's dive in. All right, so we've got here our settings and the way we got here is we went to reports, analytics tools, and then from analytics tools, we went to tracking URL builder. So it's a little bit hidden if you don't you know, know where you're looking for. If the tracking URL builder is already set up, you'll see obviously tracking URLs here. But if you wanna create a brand new one, if you've ever created tracking URLs in Google Analytics or the Google URL builder, this is gonna be very similar. So here first we wanna put the URL that we are looking to track and then we select a campaign. So if we don't have a campaign already set up, you'll need to go back and actually set up a campaign first before you jump in here. So let's take a quick dive over into that just to show you what that looks like. So marketing, campaigns, and again, all of this is only available on Marketing Pro or Enterprise. So we've got campaigns here set up. If you wanted to create a new campaign, you would just put the campaign name in here. Again, if you wanna see how to set up campaigns, we do have a separate video about this, but you need to do that here first and then go back over to your URL builder. So we're gonna go over there now. All right, back to the URL builder. So again, if I were to create that tracking URL, I'd select the campaign. The source, these are the sources that HubSpot already gives us. And so we would wanna select one of these. So if they're not gonna fit into any of these categories, we might wanna select other campaigns. So you're watching this video right now, most likely on YouTube, and we use tracking URLs to track our traffic from YouTube. So if I select other campaigns, then the source here, when we do this, we put YouTube. And then the medium would be, let's say, where we want to put it on YouTube. And in this case, it might be the description. And then the term, we're not using terms for Google AdWords. We're using, again, YouTube, which doesn't really have a term. But if I wanted to put the content, I could put whatever this video happens to be that you're watching right now. And then that tracking would tell me that you came to our website, converted on something from this specific video. So to show you what that looks like for some that we already have set up, we've got HubSpot hacks here, and then we've got a YouTube description as the medium. Here we actually specified the term, and then here we specified the content. So if I actually copy this short URL, when I put this up on the top, you'll see that it expands once I hit enter, and then it actually takes you to a page on our website that helps you understand HubSpot better and encourages you to download an ebook before you buy. So that again, that's the whole way we actually track to the website. And then once you submit that page or this form here, that submission tells us that's where you came from. So we're gonna go back to contacts and here on this screen, you can see that we have original sources and then we have a drill down and then a drill down too. So again, when I am looking at this specific campaign, I'm looking at they, this person just converted today. They converted from other campaigns, which means they converted from that URL that I had set up. It tells me that URL was HubSpot hacks, which again is what you're watching now. And then the source was our YouTube channel, which actually, this is an old URL from a previous video that we'd started before we launched this entire channel. So again, this gives us some historical value. If I wanted to search even farther, I can look at all of the folks that have come from this HubSpot hacks and apply that filter. And now you can see that we have all of these folks that have come into our uh, marketing funnel through our HubSpot Hacks channel, and we have tracked them appropriately with a UTM. So that's how to create UTMs in HubSpot. If you need some additional help, there is a pretty good article over on HubSpot's blog about UTM codes, why to use them, how to use them, some best practices, how to set them up, some things you wanna keep in mind. But again, UTM itself is a very specific kind of tracking mechanism, but if you haven't yet implemented it in your HubSpot portal, this will get you started. More tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and let us know if there's a topic that you wanna to cover in the future. We will see you next week.